What is going on guys? We are here at Harbor Town in Hilton Head. Um, we actually are going to the Crazy Carab for dinner. We have dinner reservations at 7 15. We try to get here a little early. They actually have a PGA golf tournament going on right now. Um, it's kind of crazy on how to get to Harbor Town because there isn't a, a fee to getting into this like gated community to get here. Um, and right now we actually had to take an Uber because there was no parking anywhere we found because of the PGA tournament. But this place is full of like shops and restaurants and things like that. We're gonna go walk around checking things out and then we're gonna do a diner review on the Crazy Crab, which is a local town favorite. It's been here for like 30 years. Um, it's right here on the harbor, right next to a lighthouse. So, hey, let's go check it out. So there's the lighthouse here at Harbor Town. And basically this is what it looks like. Beautiful beaches, beautiful sunshine. So yeah. It is kind of crazy on how to get here. The over guy didn't even drop us off at Harbor Town. We actually had to walk like a half a mile to get here because of the roads that were all blocked off and traffic and things like that because of the PGA tournament. So normally they do have like trolleys and stuff running that you can take into this little gated community. But again, due to the PGA tournament, everything is just not operational at normal business times. A lot of yachts, a lot of security going on. Craziness. So we walk down the dock and here's a little map of Hilton Head and so basically we're here and our hotel is or our Airbnb is over here somewhere. And Disney is somewhere in boats sitting on the dock are for rent so if you wanted to do like uh, fishing or dolphin watching excursions they are available for hire it seems there's a ton of boats out there right now and this is all due to that right there So this isn't the first time we've stumbled upon like a huge event. Um, we actually went to Gatlinburg on my birthday one time and ran into like a huge car, car show. And it was like the whole strip was closed. And then we made a trip to New York and ended up in the, it was during 4th of July and we forgot it was the hot dog eating contest at Coney Island. So we, we tend to stumble upon a lot of events that we don't mean to <laughs> and we just get kind of stuck in the crowd but that's okay it's good times we roll with it so we're inside the lighthouse now and it's basically like a museum and a tour and you can pay to go upstairs and sunshine has found pop-up books that look very very extravagant <laughs> Which one's that? This is the Little Mermaid. Do you know how it works? Oh wow. It's rather difficult with one hand, but yes, I know how they work. Look at that. That is awesome. 
We got Peter Pan and Alice in Wonderland. Beauty and the Beast. Cinderella. How much are they? $39.99. Harry Potter. It's Star Wars. Jurassic Park. America the Beautiful. Do you go upstairs? Um, you have to pay admission to go upstairs. Yeah, let's do it. Here. Hi. Can we get three? Yes. Sorry. Check out all these compasses. That is so cool. That is so awesome. So we're gonna go upstairs and try this thing out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't oh. your arm because we would have waxed your feet. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, dear. I've only been to one other lighthouse in my life and it was in San Diego. And it actually wasn't a working lighthouse. The Yemasee Ghost of the Wind. The Yemasee Ghost of the Wind. It's a whole story about the lighthouse. Very, very cool. U.S. Coast Guard ship. The USCG Eagle. So right now we're at 26 feet, oh, 34, 42, and there's actually a cage that Coast Guard used to help people out of the water. A lot of history photos. press look at there if you guys collect pennies there you have it I'm like out of breath already Another penny press. There's the uh, cage I was talking about. We're almost at 50 feet. So the admission fee for this was five dollars and 75 cents a person. We need a walking stick. Very cool. Some of the PGA photos. Old golf clubs. The legacy of golf. So big historic golf area. And it's the first golf club organized in America was the South Carolina Golf Club. Very, very cool. So, I like playing golf. Not very good at it, but it is fun. A lot of US Coast Guard stuff. And I almost tripped. I think we have reached the top. With the Beanie Babies. It's all my house passport. Shirts. 
All this stuff that's um, priced about the same as you would expect. It's $24.99 for some t-shirts. I got some Harbor Light collectibles. Jewelry. Some Beanie Babies. Some Christmas ornaments. Now we are outside, and we were down there. So not a very tall lighthouse for compared to other lighthouses, but A lot of these boats are here for the PGA, which is right there. So very cool to be here while the PGA tournament's here. And that is a huge, huge yacht. So the restaurant we're actually eating at is right next to this lighthouse. What do you think, Bug? She's excited. You can't tell it, but she is. live webcam there. So you can get on and harbortownlighthouse.com and look at the live webcam and you may be able to see it. So yeah. So based on this you are now looking directly down the 18th fairway of the harbor town Basically, we are their target for the last hole of the tournament. Walking through a lot of these shops, like these two right here in front of us, they're basically like a beach shop. So if you've ever been to a normal beach shop where they have like the little sand in the jar that you can buy or the little hats and just normal beach wear, you can buy that there. They also have a lot of golf stores here. So if you are a golfer, they have all kinds of clothes and stuff that you can buy. And apparently this one, Honey and Thistle, has mimosas for $10. So this is a sip saver and shop. So we're going to check this one out. And we like mead. So we're going to check it out. How you doing? smell good in here. A lot of honeys. So this kind of reminds me of like the Savannah Bee Company. Same type of um, cordial. It's very nice. Though. And the sunshine's like dropping food all over the place. I do not. I will take your word for it. How is it? What is it? Welsh cake. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
tastes like. Cranberry lotion. Very perceptive. <laughs> So we just went in this toy store, which has just, you know, generic toys. And we stumbled across this awesome, amazing looking playground for the children. How cool is that? Like a little miniature tree house. That is awesome. So, why the adults play? The children can play. Yeah, just to give you guys an idea of how crazy it is in Harbor Town this week. After talking to the lady at the B place with the mead, she said business is actually slowed down because it plays here really just for the tournament, not really shopping. So it would explain why all the shops are nearly empty every time we walk in one because everybody's out here partying and enjoying life as the golf tournament goes on. But it's mass chaos here at Harper Town. But it is a beautiful, very beautiful like area. So I highly recommend if you get a chance, come here, check out the shops and the restaurants, but do it on a time when you're not having a golf tournament for sure and that is where we're dining tonight the crazy crab so what I had told you on the lighthouse was wrong this is where we're eating so let's go check it out all right guys so this is what the inside of crazy crab looks like Basically, it's like the inside of a ship. I would think. I love how Bug covers her face. Crab we're about today. Yes, so they did give us hand towels with our silverware. And I'm sure they'll give us like some like hand like water dipping trays. I don't know what they're called. Finger bowls. But yeah, we both got boils and we got a couple drinks and we'll, sh we'll show them to you here in, the sh in shortly. Hi guys, our drinks and appetizers have came out. My drink, I got the painkiller. It's rum, pineapple juice, cocoa Lopez, orange juice, and a hint of nutmeg. And then we got the shrimp cocktail because you know I love shrimp cocktail. And then they brought us out some hush puppies. And Sunshine over here got she crab soup and a crab punch, which is a coastal coconut rum, pineapple, orange juice, grenadine, orange slice, and a cherry. So we're gonna try these out and see if they're any good. All right, so for my drink, to me, it's just okay. I think the nutmeg kind of like takes over. So it's, it, it, it's just okay for me. I probably wouldn't get it again, but it, it's an okay drink. The shrimp cocktail is, I mean, it's shrimp cocktail. You, you can't go wrong with shrimp cocktail. There's a huge shrimp cocktail. So good. Always get the shrimp cocktail. And then hot pot pizza are basically the same as hot pot There's nothing special about it. Um, throw a little butter on it. You're good to go. Very good. I got the she crab 
soup from the crab hunt. Was you have it good? Oh yeah, absolutely, thank you. Are you gonna start over? No, just keep going, I can edit it. So I got the sheet crab soup and the crab punch. The sheet crab soup is very good. It's nice and thick with a whole lot of crab meat in it, which I really enjoy. The crab punch is your basic fruity drink, which I also happen to very much enjoy. Yeah, so I did taste the crab punch. I would definitely, definitely get that one again. It's, it's fruity. I like fruity drinks as well. I'm not big on like alcohol, uh, straight bourbon or anything like that, but it's definitely, definitely a good drink. How's the hush puppies, Bug? A woman with many words. Alright guys, here is the boil. You got your crab legs, you got your peel and eat shrimp, your corn on the cob, red potatoes. Bug over here got her fish and chips. So basically just fried fish with french fries with tartar sauce. And of course, the sunshine over here has got the same boil. The only difference is she didn't get the shrimp, she just got crab legs. How is it? It's very good. Very delicious. Fantastic. All right, guys, we're back at the room. So final thoughts and review on the crazy crab. So we have a certain expectation when it comes to beach seafood. Um, it was just okay for me. I would probably go back. I would try different things. But I think there are better options. And for uh, the price we paid, it was about $200 for the three of us. Um, I think there are better options. So not to say that the restaurant was bad. I would definitely go back. But I, it just was okay for me. What did he say? Mine was good. But. But, bug loved hers. But for a boil, I, I felt like it wasn't seasoned very well. It was good. I would eat it again. But I feel like the standards are a little bit higher when it comes to beach seafood, especially being on the beach. So with that in mind, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you liked it, like it at the bottom, leave a comment, and as always, love, peace, chicken grease.